I think I took a picture. Hello. So this is our update. What's today? June 11th. I think, yeah. June 11th. So there was massive. The 10 people that watched my little journal of my first garden. I don't know who you are because on Facebook, you got, I mean, not Facebook, on YouTube, you got to have like 100 likes or 100 subscribers or something before you can like see details of stuff, but I mean, I don't really care. So, thank you. We are out here working for a couple hours today before I go into J my J-O-B, and it is a hot mess. First of all, when I planted all this and was so excited about it, what I did not know is that there was poison ivy all in this area of which I am highly allergic to. And I think it got in my blood and I was stubborn and didn't go to the doctor. And whew. anyway, anybody who has ever had poison ivy, poison oak, and you're allergic to it, you know what I'm talking about. So I didn't really go anywhere. This started just growing back up into grass. Anyway, and then I got sick. So long story short, this is the most current update. The Some stuff is flopping and some stuff is seems to be doing okay. We have the Moulin Rouge sunflowers. My pitiful little corn patch. I told my husband I was very conservative with my seeds when I did it the first time, but I just want them for like fall decor. So I planted some more, so we'll see. I don't know if should be enough time between now and like I think mid-October. Anyway, so corn got like maybe nine. I think maybe the darker bottom ones is the Indian corn and then the green greener ones is the other and then down through here inside there there is like Mexican sunflowers that I am not going to rescue because <laughs> there may be poison ivy in there as well and no so good luck dudes if we start seeing orange flowers come out the top which if you look close there's actually like one two three like four little things that might look like flowers i don't know anyway and then we have moulin rouge and the vanilla and this is ava's little stuff every time she's here she plants more we had some that were in cups and we didn't get them in the ground fast enough and so they <laughs> But, I mean, she'll get some seeds, and she likes them. And then we have those black, the bush green beans. And then I planted some more. I think you're supposed to keep planting them until a couple of weeks before frost or something like that. And then the pole green beans. And I think these are pumpkins. And I planted some more stuff right here. This is a documentary to me because I'm not writing it down and I will not remember. So there's like one, two, three, maybe four pumpkins there, I think. And then I planted some more uh, pole beans right there. Planted a bush bean like that one over there. And I think I planted some regular, like the, what are they called? The blue lakes or something. The bush green beans right there supposed to be like 55 days so I think that'll be good and then over here is the cucumbers they are coming up pretty good I just weeded around them because I mean this is the garden and it's mostly poke salad and uh, ragweed and sawbriar type stuff and there is I can't really work work in this area or the next area are the next area because there's like a trail from that trellis where the vanilla marigolds are all the way to like this area right here there's a trail of like poison ivy all through it so 
somebody else is having to try to eradicate that for me anyway so cucumbers and hopefully they're going to take up and go over this whole trellis right here and i probably did that too fast i'm sorry anyway and then i planted zinnias right here you hear the lawnmower coming down this way zinnias right here zinnia zinnias and then these are allegedly yellow squash and i planted some more of the early prolific straight neck telling myself because i'm not going to remember and i think at the end of the day there should be like 13 yellow squash right here on the drip tape that goes up to the first grapevine which we thought we lost in that cold snap but it seems to be rebounding look at there so i think it might be okay and then the other one over here see that right there cool see that right there well that's briars the briars make me nervous because they look like poison ivy for just two seconds and look poke salad which is cool because that pulls up so simply but this one we left it in the ground because you know I just don't give up on stuff but look at here I don't know if you can see that but look that's green so when that gets a little bit bigger I'll probably cut this dead part up here off and yeah and these are those wild chasta daisies I don't think you can kill them I cut them back and we have a beef steak I didn't put any more seeds in there I think I might do some at the other house that one is a sweet 100 I think and then right in front of it there is carrots that may or may not do anything but look look at this see that right there oh my lord that just tears me up and there's some right there and there's some right there it's just everywhere let's go this way Whew. <laughs> okay this is nothing in here i haven't decided this one is a sweet 100 and i planted it deeper i was getting tired when i got to the other side and i think this one is doing the best out of all the ones that i grew and brought out here i need to like get some of those little sucker things off of it but look it's tall enough to reach and there's one there and there's one there so and then at the other house i might do me a little tour there so that i remember is some more so over here somewhere amongst the poison ivy there is a baby cayenne pepper there he is right there and there was supposed to be bell pepper i think all down this but i'm really too scared to get in there and dig and look so maybe i can watch this later and pause it and zoom sunflowers and then coming down this row is sweet peppers and I started them from seed pretty much everything in the garden has if it has lived has been started from seed so we have crocosmia and gladiolas and probably autumn joy right there around the obelisk 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 transplanted some liatris it looks like it's okay but I think my granddaughter did this I did not put sunflowers at the edge of this and that right there is a little butterfly bush and up along and that looks like a poppy hmm interesting there's all kinds of fun stuff coming up that way 
And then I don't think there's anything until the rosemary. There's one rosemary, two rosemary, three rosemary. And then we have chives. And this is kitchen scraps. That purple onion and that white onion is from like my kitchen. It's just my little science project. And this, uh, I think it's probably a tiger lily or something of that nature, was thrown away. And I was like, oh, but I might be able to save it. And look, if you look, this is what was original. And I cut the top. And look, it's got babies coming up. Babies. And I don't know if y'all know this, but ragweed and marigolds look kind of similar. So I think marigolds are more fuzzy. And of course you can smell them. My mother-in-law gave me these. They're ranunculus and they were all dead. Well, they weren't dead, you know, they're perennial type plants here, but but look, this was not there and now it is growing. How cool. Save the plants. And then this is another little butterfly bush that was on its last leg and I thought, well, We'll stick you in the ground. Oh, speaking of which, where's that purple spike stuff that I, here it is, right here. So, this looks like it's been cut with the lawnmower, but I just planted this, and it was like in a bucket, and it was just like this little dead piece. But it's that purple spike, I can't remember, remember the name, Cordy, I don't remember. But look, it was coming back. It did not make it though. This little area right here because we were going to put down cardboard and do uh, like a lasagna area but I decided to save my cardboard since it's already June and we put the watermelon this is another science project of mine so I've got seed in there and I've got one that I went and bought and my goal, I say, is I'm going to try to take those two on that side and run them up the trellis. And then the others, run them out, run them and them, run them out this way, like diagonally. We'll see. I mean, they may not even germinate. We'll see. So, and of course, we've already talked about all the irises that I brought out here. Oh, that's what happened. Look at that. Blown off. I'll have to fix that in a minute. I was wondering where all that water come from. Okay, so this is my mystery plant. Winter squash. Right here. See it? Oh my goodness. Are you breaking it? Carburetor? That's the lawnmower that is not cranking. That may not be a good thing. Okay, so this, okay, I know this is winter squash. It's either acorn or butternut. That was my thought. But y'all, I don't remember, I don't remember it making that right there when I did either one of those. I mean, I may not know what I'm talking about because, you know, I'm so, let's see. Who knows, right? What it is. I guess we'll find out when it starts doing something. And then a row of irises. And then this is doing pretty good. My blackberries may not do anything this year, but they're all rooted in for next year. There's new growth. The asters. There's blue and white. I don't know which ones I brought. Hopefully both. And the black eyed Susans. And my cannas. So, this is it for today. And I may take a picture and add it to this. The potatoes are at the top of my bucket and flowering. I don't know what kind I put in there, if they were determinate or indeterminate. So, we'll see how many taters we get. 
and then my blueberry patch up there I'll take a picture of it and add it to it the strawberries are running I can't decide if I want to cut that off because I just planted them or if I want to let them go I don't know we'll see you know I'm really I just let it do what it wants to do because you know God made it do that for a reason right that's why the weeds don't really bother me either as long as they stay away from like right around my stuff. So this is two cattle panel trellis and we're thinking about maybe doing two more and making it into a little like high tunnel because we're going to do a raised bed up the hill because I am too old and out of shape I found out to do this on a large scale I mean I can do it but yeah we won't go there I am not 20 I am not 30 and I am not 40 so hello all right so that's my little clip I'll go back and watch this and add it to my little journal I gotta fix that drip tape over there that's blowed off so We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. I'm pretty excited though. Anyway, we'll talk to you. I thought I'd try to get just a tiny bit of video. This is the potatoes and we did the, where you plant it six inches, it grows, cover it up, let it grow, cover it up, let it grow, all the way to about an inch to the top of the bucket and I don't know what it's doing now but it sure is pretty and let me come over here real quick I have dianthus coming up over here from seed I just threw in there last year sweet William and it's gonna reseed anyway look at this right here this is so silly but look at this y'all know what that is oops there it goes I believe if I'm not wrong, and hopefully I'm not wrong, let's pray that I'm not wrong, that that is asparagus growing. If it ain't asparagus in this asparagus bed, then I'm growing trees, which would be fine too because I like growing trees. But let's hope that it's actually asparagus. Now then, we will walk over here real quick. I bounce when I so this is the blueberries and the strawberries this is the blueberries and strawberries my phone is acting up I need a real camera to do this but you know I don't do this for anything but hobby so look at the blueberries and they just went in there oh look Ava's gonna love that there's a strawberry and it's made runners and it's made babies so that's a new plant right there there was a one of those big tall blueberries right here but he didn't like it over here so so now I have four one two three four and one two three four five six seven don't go on on eight strawberries so we got to go fill bird feeders and I got to go look up front and thanks and I'll talk to you later